Pretty, and then we make them pretty, and then we sell them. Do you want to make a button, or do you want to do one of these? You want to make a button? Okay. Let's come over here. Here. See how? Oh, I love my life a lot. Who did that one? Five. We got artists in the house. Excellent. Is the button maker fun to be at? <laughs> All right. So. You want two purple? You make two purple. We also have. Should I show you how? Let me do one and then you can do that. Stuff out of the magazine. Like you can like. Like if there's something you can have. Like that. Oh, one more. Like a picture. Huh? Is there anything that you like? Tell me when you start. Purple, 
No, no, I'll try to stay out of yours. <laughs> Do you mind if I interview you while you paint? Oh. I'm with the St. Louis American. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna touch this here. I'm gonna touch this here. There we go. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. Alright. What? Um, yeah, what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was in town, um, this time last year I was at college, um, without a car, so I couldn't come back, but when I found out the community was having events, I told myself I was going to come out to as many as possible. Where did you go to college, or where are you going to go? Um, I'm currently a junior at the University of Missouri, Columbia. What are you studying? I'm a black studies major and minors in social justice and women's and gender studies. How do you feel the importance of this event? Um, I think it's very important that people have a release, especially in the arts. Um, it's just one of those things we don't really get in schools, so to have a community-based art um, event is great for people. Tell me about the sign that you're making. Um, so I'm doing a sign that says, I love my blackness and yours. Um, D-Ray said it um, like a year ago. But I think it's very important um, to reaffirm my blackness and other people's blackness. Because it's easy to get lost in our skin. <laughs> How long are you going to be in town for? Um, I'm here until next Saturday. So I plan on being at all the events this weekend. Um, whatever I'm able to make, I'm going to be at. <laughs> Do you know what it is yet? A boy. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna have <laughs> Maya. It's not our brother, Mr. Perry. So there's this. Um, round circles in there, or they can pick a different one if there's a pattern in here they like better. But there's a bunch of them already. And they design whatever they want. Did you make a mess over here? You want to do a mess? We're gonna put it on a tree. What is the shiny Sparkly. Well, we can get, let's, let's wait until all done, then we'll wash all of it. Getting dirty is just part of it. <laughs> We'll wait till it's all done. 
Up to that. Um, you thought it was camping? Um, so the whole purpose of today's event as well as the events all weekend are to promote, you know, family, to promote community activities. Um, because after you've experienced a tragedy or a loss, like we have been losing people all year, it's really good to have a healing space with people who you care about and people who you love. Um, and a lot of times children have a difficult time dealing with loss um, or you know, communicating what those feelings are for them. Um, so having a healing space through art for children is always a good idea. You can put like, do you have organizers? Yes, um, so I'm actually the lead organizer for the United We Fight Weekend, um, along with uh, a few other people. Um, it's really been a collaborative effort. Um, all of the organizations have come together. Everybody took different tasks um, so that we could create a uh, weekend that was really beautiful and that um, that everybody contributed to. Uh, my name is Nabia Aziz. Um, I'm an organizer with Missourians Organizing for Reform and Empowerment, MORE. Um, and then I'm one of the conveners of the Ferguson Action Council space, which planned this whole weekend. Okay. You're welcome. No, it's, it's, it's better. A lot better than what it was in front of So you write whatever you want. You can draw a picture, whatever you want. However you want the world to be. What do you want in the world? What do you think? A picture? You want to draw a picture? So what would you have in your world? What do you what would make everything just so good? What do you think? A tree? All right. I like trees. That's good for the bark. We can find you green. Can you draw a tree? You want a pink one? Is there pink over there somewhere? So you're going to make those for somebody? Or are you going to sell them? Like, oh, we got American newspapers. Oh, 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 
Or your son? He's yeah. my little brother. Or your little brother? <laughs> yeah, you can interview okay. us together. I have him out. Okay, great. You know she wanted. Uh, she wanted to do an interview. Like pink. She wanted to do an interview. Animal. 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 Animal
Oh yeah, there's a big bag of those. Um, I'll probably have to head out to kind of see um, oh, oh, yeah. 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 Are you I took this like what else I can you get a stick it? Well, I can get it. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not oh my like, gosh, you did that? That's, that's, that's so good. You're an artist. That's a good idea. That is a great, great. I got everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should recruit you for the art of this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See those banners over there? Yeah. Banners yeah. that are up over there? Yeah. That's what we do. We just make art. I do stuff like that all day. You're a really good artist. <laughs> what kind of interview is it? I mean... Oh, just like what you're doing here today. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, why you think it's important to be here, that kind of thing. I'm going to be on camera. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, um, so this might be just that, a web video. I don't know if I want to do that. Mom, how do you spell that? I don't know if I... Um, if you don't want to be on video, that's okay. There's more pain over here at the poster. Would you like him to be on video or not? That's fine. Do you... No. That's fine. I spell bad, Mom. What? I spell what? Bad. So is this for the tree? That's so beautiful. It's going to hang. That's so beautiful, Kylie. We're gonna stake it right here temporarily. And today, you changed your hair. I'm not gonna go. So, <laughs> I know I got your email for this, and I was like, I'm oh, okay. I'm I'm proud. Proud. I'm 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 proud. We're giving them to the kids, too. Um, if they yeah. want to, they can. Can we cap keep that one? No, no, we're not buying Thank you very much. It's going to mean a lot to the people that we're going to give it to. Do you want to do anything else? You want to make a poster? A sign? Want to make a sign? Yeah, do whatever you want. All I right, let's show up. You can try. <laughs> Maybe that one might be gray. Her dad and her granddad is there. Yeah. Okay. Is it gray? Uh-huh. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Wow. American newspaper. Right. Same little video back today. Do you mind if I interview you? Sure. Okay, great. Do you think we could go in the stage? Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to just put this to your uh, shirt right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And just hold on to that for me. All right, and I'm gonna have you face uh, this way. Do it anyway. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's a little better. Um, okay, you can tell me why uh, you came out today and what you feel the importance of this event. Well, to be honest, I didn't know the event was going on. I came out to let my grandchildren play in the park, which is what I do a lot to keep them outdoors away from the video games. They live in Ferguson and they've been in a, many of marches there, so 
it's ironic that you guys were here today for them to be over here and participate again. Um, I guess it, just in general, what has been your feeling about this past year and about this coming weekend, which will be one year since Michael Brown was um, shot? I'm hoping that it's peaceful protests, uh, more than just uh, marching for Mike Brown, you know, it's all the violence in the city that's just depressing sometimes. And I live on the north side, so I see it personally. So it really bothers me. And, you know, everywhere, there's just working class people with so much violence around them. It tries to drag you down, but as you can see, I keep myself uplifted with my grandbabies doing positive things. Thank you You're quite welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. keep them the tilt balls and golf clearing. Yeah. Uh huh. They told them everything. That's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. It keeps me moving. That's right. Right. Yeah, when I got them, I'm not sitting around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony. Tony Wingo. Wingo. Um, I spell your last name. Great. And T O N Y. Yes. Okay. All right. And then where um, in the neighborhood do you live? I live over on Sullivan. Okay. As you know, if you watch the news, you hear bodies and murders and everything. Mm -hmm. Some of these kids I know, I've been knowing them since they were in Vegas. Moved out to California, came all the way back here to raise my kids. A block from my dad's house. And the time he go out the door, I just worry. He's 27 now, I just worry. Every time he leaves. Although he has two daughters now, I mean, he's been shot in the by people he knows. A lot of these things that happen are by people who know each other. Not just random shooting, you look youngsters, they all know each other. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> but you can be happy or you can be sad. Mm -hmm. I try to stay happy. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus, I keep them happy. How many families do Three, one more, just with me. Uh, these two. I keep them everywhere. And um, what is uh, your granddaughter's name? Jake. Uh, that's Kylie. Okay. How do you spell her name? I believe it's K-Y-L-I-E. Okay. Kylie. And her last name? Jones. Jones. Okay. okay. How old is she? She's three years old. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. She's actually three. Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> running the entire city block. Yeah. If her brother takes off running, she's right behind her. Mm -hmm. so she gets her exercise chasing her brother, and he's going on eight. Wow. She's trying to hang with him so much. Mm -hmm. good for colors and numbers and all that. Mm -hmm. She's kind of shy. They were asking her some numbers and she knows her numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's good to let them interact socially. Okay. Okay. It's your name again? It's Rebecca Revis. I'm with the okay. St. Louis American. All right, because I read the American all the time. Hey. It's free. Hey. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Definitely. All right, We're going to keep it that way. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the Did you finish your sign? I don't know. Okay. You set it on top of the ruler? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a popsicle. How high do you want it?